guys, welcome back to another episode of Raisin Raid and Play Scribble Notes Unlimited. We're still here in the planes, paper planes, um, with this guy, uh, the, the flyer left, and we are heading out now to this new area, the Bullet Point Bayo, which is going to be quite quick and easy, I think. Uh, so let's hop right in and zap over there. Oh my, look at that. It's a croc. Murky waters, fireplace, hut. Oh, aliens! My word! Oh, we got tree monsters from Lord of the Rings. That looks like one of my brothers or something. One of my family members. Um, we've got a a smelly, dirty outhouse. Ugh, nasty. You can see the fumes just coming out of there. Obviously, it hasn't been cleaned in a while. I really got to go, but it's really gross in there. Yes, it is. It really is gross in there. What we need is a a maid. We need a maid to go and clean that. There you go. Clean, clean, clean. Is she cleaning? Is she dying in there? What's going on? Empty. Is she okay? Oh, she did clean it. She's, she's cleaned it. And he's gone to the loo. Oh, not very sanitary. Good job, maid. Good job. You can, Why don't you just go hang around in there? You can keep cleaning. He may have made a mess. Who knows? So, so let's, let's, yeah, let's leave her to do that. We got farmer, farmer Edwin here. Uh, let's change. Let's change. We're in this sort of mystical, magical place. Uh, yes. So let's let's change our character uh, and find us a suitable hippie. A hippie would be good. Serenity, serenity. Yes, a hippie for the forests to praise the fairies and and worship the tree creatures like this one here. Look at that. Uh, get these woodpeckers away from me. Oh no. <laughs> He's being bothered by woodpeckers. <laughs> and what's that? A voodoo doll. Oh my word. Uh, is this voodoo doll, do you think it's related? Do you think if we... If we pick this up... And we, we just take this away and let's just... Can we drop this here? Maybe make it get a little fireplace. Uh, there, and we're gonna pop the voodoo doll in the fireplace. Let's see what, what effect that has. Use. Uh, interact. Oh no. That switch is on off. Use it. I can't use it. I can't I can't cook the... How about just a fire? Just get a lo log fire going. We'll put it on top. And uh, can we use that? No, we can't. Okay. Whatever. Get rid of those things. Drop that voodoo doll. Don't hold on to that stuff. That stuff is that's black magic, and it just fell into the drink. Fantastic. Okay, want to get rid of the woodpeckers. Uh, so let's give them a an oak tree to 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 spend their time on. There we go. That should attract them. All right. <laughs> the woodpeckers are more interested in this tree, which is not really standing standing up, is it? No, it's unbalanced ground. There. Oh. oh. There we go. There we go. It's standing. Uh, we have a hillbilly, and I'm a hippie. Gosh, this is a bit of a, a jump here. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Whew. We've got the Star Ride Challenge in here, and this is going to take us somewhere else. The Listy Colon. Okay, so that takes us to the other map. We've got a barbecue. This grill something. Play something on the grill, on the barbie. To grill on the barbie. Let's just see what else we have. He's swimming now. He's chilling out there. I haven't had a bite in weeks, so he wants to be fed. Um, and let's see what uh, what does this what does this oh what does this alien want? I can't get up there. Can I can I can I zoom out? Click on him. Give us something we want, and we will leave you in peace. Okay, folks, you do that one. You give him. You give this alien observer something that he would want from Earth. I guess something to study us. As a, as a human race, maybe some of our animals, uh, maybe some of the uh, objects that we've created, some of our technology, who knows? Uh, I guess just anything that would satisfy his desire to learn more about us and uh, hopefully not destroy us. So so you, you you decide what you want to give this alien up here. Let's actually, let's get, let, let's, let's get a closer look. We're going to get, uh, can we get rocket boots? Put those on, oh yeah. Okay, rocket boots. So there's our alien friend. Look, I'm like Iron Man. Oh yeah, scooching about in the skies with my rocket boots. There's your alien friend. 
that's who you're going to be dealing with. And I'm like on stilts as well. Okay, we want to grill something on the barbie. We want a a dolphin steak. A dog poor steak. A dolomite steak. What is a dolomite steak? It's like stone. Cook that up. <laughs> What's for dinner? <laughs> oh, it's turning into a steak. There we go. Do you want to eat it? Do you want it? Uh, no? Maybe we just... Uh, Oh, oh my, I short-circuited everything. Oh my gosh, Maxwell was defeated. <laughs> oh, terrible. My rocket bow is short-circuited. And I, I just had executed everything and everyone. These are hazard. Let's get rid of them for now. Keep away from water. And we lost our stake, did we? No, we have. There's our stake. But, oh, we've killed the crocodile. We have killed the crocodile. So... Unfortunately, we're going to have to reset this level. So we get the croc back. Um, but that also means, unfortunately, that uh, oh, we don't have that nice cooked steak to give uh, the croc. So we're going to have to give him something else. And this toad wants someone to kiss. Well, clearly, the princess. There you go, kiss. Oh, no, what happened? The toad was supposed to turn into a prince charming or something, but... Uh, contrary to the fairy tale, she turned into a frog. I guess it's sort of like a Shrek type story. Okay, so now there's this croc here, and he's hungry. He wants a bite to eat. So let's give him. How about a badger? Do you want to eat a badger? Eat a badger. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Feeding the gator. And he's fed. Uh, and he's fed. Okay, so how are we doing? Oops, wrong button. Five out of seven. Uh, we need. There is a. Okay, we've got the Star Eye Challenge, and we've gone into slow mo again. Okay, there's the. There's the alien craft. Oh wait, we've got something down here. How, how do I? Okay, no. Let's just get rid of this. Things are slowing down again. Yay. Okay, go for a swim. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, we, I want to be a duckling. Oh, oh, little turtley has fallen in love with a fa du family of ducks here and wants to become a duck. So we want to give him. A, uh, let's give him a, a beak. Turn him into a duck. Yeah, have a beak. There you are. You're a duck, the ugly duckling, <laughs> and you are indeed an ugly duckling. It's a, a turtle in duck's clothing. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, challenge? Challenge time. Let's go. Help Maxwell find aliens disguised as earthly creatures. Oh. They walk among us. Yes, they do. Who says they don't, eh? Who says they aren't humans? Uh, well, what we think are humans, but are actually alien. Alien beings just there observing us. The aliens walk among us in disguise. The first alien is afraid of bright lights. Uh, bright lights. Would this be the first alien? We got a baby, uh, bright lights. So we get a fireworks, firework, get a firework. And I want to, I want to light the firework. How can I light the firework? I need a match. Take a match and light it. That was the most pathetic firework I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely shocking. Now before this whole place catches the light and burns down. Bright lights. Uh, what about... What about... Northern lights. Do you think this exists? The northern lights? It does indeed. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you have been foiled, alien. The next alien is afraid of loud noises. So there's the alien in his craft. Okay, so now... Loud noises. Uh, well, let's just get a drum, a, a drum kit. So drum kit. We don't want to ride that. We're going to just plonk that down there, and we're going to ride it, and we're going to. Oh, I want to play it though. Oh, I can't interact with it. How boring. Okay, let's get a drum instead. Just a good old drum instrument. There. Can I play it? 
Interact? No, I can't. I can't play it. We need a a drum player, a, 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 a drummer, a drum player, a drummer. It's a drummer. Now play. Play, you tool. Play, play. Make loud noises. No. How about a siren? Alarm. Why can't I activate these things, man? I haven't even set off the... Okay, well, it's scared. Uh, find the alien imposter who is terrified of water. The cat, clearly, is terrified of water. Uh, we just need a... A... Well... Can I pick it up? Can I get a bag? And I, I want to put the cat in the bag. Full item. And we're going to get into the water and we're going to empty item. <laughs> no, I'm wet. Oh, soggy. Soggy and wet. The last alien is afraid of heights. Now, who would that be? Obviously someone that's hiding out down low, maybe? See, they all jumped into the little craft here. A smoking UFO. Don't smoke in your UFO, folks. That's dangerous. I really like these northern lights. They're cool. Um, afraid of heights. So... Uh, helium balloon? Do you think it's? Do you think it's this person? Um, hmm. Huge. And up you go. Up you go. Yes. No. Maybe. I don't even know if it's that person. To be honest, let's get another huge helium balloon and attach that. There we go! Oh, <laughs> it was the alien! <laughs> oh, foiled by some helium balloons. Oh, you gotta love that. There we have it! All the aliens have been sent back to their smoky ship, and off they've gone. Left planet Earth in peace. They're not uh, anal probing anyone or anything. Thanks to us. Good job. Serenity. Good job, Serenity. That's that's its name. I forgot. Great. Look at that. Well, that is... That's everything. It's just this alien ship left, and that's for you guys. But now, we did that so quickly. Let's jump on out of here and take a look at our little pirate ship, I think. The Listy Colon. Let's go check out the Listy Colon. We're, this is going to be quite a big one, so I don't think we'll finish it in this episode. But we can get started, at least. See what there is. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the Listy Colon pirate ship. We've got a seasick pirate, we've got some ghosts, a ninja, more ninjas, uh, and I'm on the escape vessel. What's this? This is gonna take me away, is it? Bullet point bay, okay. Up! Ah, oh, we've scaled the side of the boat. We've got a ninja! I need a tool for my trade to finally settle this argument. Uh, well, a sword, but let's give you a ninja star. There you go! Battle! Picking sides. Picking sides, which means, I think, if we reset this, um, and we just we climb back up. Now, if we come to this guy, pirate, oh. No. Well, whatever. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's drop down onto the deck. We've got, this is a star challenge here. We've got a pirate with no legs. Give me something that I can craft into a peg leg. Well, you need some wood. You need a wooden block, obviously, and you, that's maybe all you need. Yeah, I was gonna give you a chisel as well, but looks like that wasn't important. You've got yourself your peg leg. Vikings, there's Vikings on the ship. We've got a treasure room here. Uh, give me something to hide inside so I can make my escape. Well. What better to hide inside than a cup board? Have a cupboard. There we go. Go hide in that. Zay. Now what are you gonna do with it, Viking? Oh, oh, the cupboard's hoppity hoppity ho out. Aha! I am free. <laughs> now the Viking is trapped. Ah. Oh. She was she was fooled fooled by the ninja, but ninjas will do that to you. They they'll get the best of you. We're running out of ammo. Throw something in the cannon, folks. 
you throw something in the cannon for me. Okay? That is your that is yours to puzzle out. What do you want to be fired out of this cannon? Could be anything really. Uh, could be a cannonball if you're that way inclined, but that's a bit boring, isn't it? Uh, maybe some animals. Throw some animals in there. I don't know. Shoot out a, some knives and forks. Who knows? Up to you. You tell me. Give me something to eat that prevents scurvy. Uh, what would prevent scurvy? Hmm. Scurvy is a lack of of what? Of iron? Is it lack of iron? Let me just give you an iron bar. You're gonna eat. It? Oh my gosh! Eat an iron bar. No. Oh. Uh, eggs. Eggs have lots of protein. No, we need iron. Uh, liver. Liver? Yeah, have some liver. No, maybe maybe a, a kidney. Eat a kidney. Looks like a kidney bean. No, it doesn't like that. How about a cooked liver? Maybe she doesn't like to eat it raw. Eat it cooked. Yum, yum, yum. No? Have some... Have some... Have some fruit juice have some fru fruity juice fruity juice fruity juice there you go oh there she goes all she needed was a bit of fruit and she set up a fruit stall selling lemonade a lemonade stand fantastic well that will I guess prevent scurvy with anyone else on deck We've got a pigeon up there. Oh, look, I'll never be accepted as a parrot. No, you won't. Because everyone knows that a pirate's parrot needs an eye patch. So you're going to wear this. There you go. Arr. <laughs> oh, look at that little par parrot. Pirate seagull. Oh, gosh. Hilarious, I tell you. Hilarious. Now, what do we have down here? We have a nerd on his computer. A hacker. It's hacking and cracking. Prevent internet piracy. Why would he want to do that? Uh, quite fitting though. Pirates, piracy. I like that. That's clever. So obviously we need a, uh, a lawyer. We need the guy from um, uh, Mega Upload. What is his name? Dot Kim. Uh, and we need to put him in a, into into a, into a box and then drop him into the ocean, I guess. But we can't put him there. Uh, tough cookie. So. Well, how about a hammer? And we're just going to smash up this computer. Can we interact? What's it going to do? A different kind of piracy. Interesting. I just switched on the computer and... Uh, okay. Okay, whatever. It, it worked. Uh, now he's a prisoner. Yeah. Have a hammer. Maybe you can do something with that. No? No, what about a lock pick? Can you... Maybe get yourself out of those those chains. Nah, he's not bothered. He's quite happy just chilling out. Pirate. This, I don't know what that is. It's just sort of floating around. Attach that to you. And, uh... Attach that there. Not attack. No, no, no. Uh, we want to attach it. I don't even know what's going on anymore. No, it's not attached. It's just sort of floating in the air. Look at that. It's just chilling. What we have? Give me something to swab the duck. Uh huh. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. We give you paintbrush because it's not a big duck. Let's be quite honest. Uh, you don't need an entire mop. You just use a brush. Just use a brush to swab the duck. You did push-ups, but obviously that's not what you wanted. Uh, okay. What about? A, a broom, a broom, bigger than a brush, will that do the job? Yes. And she's swabbing the duck. Poor duck. Feels sad. Shame. We've got a viking here, a warrior, needs some pieces to play a game. And we need some pieces to play a game. Well, you want to play a game, we've got, what about Monopoly? Monogamy. How about some monogamy? What does that even look like? Oh, it looks like a boat. I didn't realize monogamy looked like that. Uh, what about... What about... Backgammon? Oh, there we go. Backgammon. No? Take that. Play some backgammon. I'll just throw away your spear. No, I'll keep your spear. 
Because I'm a warrior. Actually, I'm not a warrior, am I? I need to become a warrior. Uh, okay, we're just suffering with a moment of a uh, slowness. Here we go. Uh, yes. <clears throat> what would be a good character as a warrior? I mean, this would be a good, a good fitting... Let's go with Rex. Let's go with Rex. There we go. Rex plays the part better, I think. Okay, you want some chess? Maybe, maybe, maybe backgammon ain't your game. There you go, chess is better. Oh my. Gosh, guys, it's just a game. Just, just chill out. The soldier is going down. Soldier is going down. I have my money on. Oh, it's getting close. It's close. Ah, oh, there it is. Good job. Here's your spear back. Maybe that would have helped. Uh, anyway, Tiger Shark. Well, she's like my sister, actually. This one, a bit of a sore loser. You beat her, and it's the end of the world. Chaos. We've got the game here, Risk, uh, if you've ever played it, where you sort of world domination. Fantastic game. Uh, very long winded, though. Can take hours and hours to dominate the world. But it's great. It's a great game. And uh, my sister, she has to win. Otherwise, uh, there's just snot and tarana, as you say in Afrikaans, just snot and tears. Um, but yeah, that's okay. You know, I guess some of us are more competitive than others. Um, why I'm not really doing anything on screen right now is because maybe you can see that duck sort of just inching towards my head. I'm just chilling out with one frame a second. Um, we'll get there. It'll pick up. It, it usually, I don't know, it, it does this randomly just for a couple seconds. It's like, oh, what am I doing with my life? Um, hopefully not forever come on two four three frames let's let's knock this up a bit guys come catch up I think I need to upgrade my computer I mean it's not the worst machine in the world but uh, it isn't the best either I mean the funny thing is when I'm not using fraps then I can play I mean I just recently finished a Medal of Honor Warfighter Okay, I couldn't have it at full settings, but in medium settings, and it was it was smooth. It ran fine. Um, so it's a bit strange, you know. There's heavy duty games, and I can play them, but as soon as Fraps comes into the picture, things just go downhill, as you can tell. Oh yeah, so slow. I don't even know if this is going to catch up. Maybe it's going to stay like this forever. Oh man. I hope not, uh, but this might be, I guess, a time, the time to to say adios and just uh, give up while we're ahead because we've done quite well. Uh, we've we finished the one section. Uh, what was it? Those Mr. Kills and whatever, and you have that alien challenge, and there's also now the pirate challenge here, uh, the one with the cannon. So those are for you. And next episode, when I come back. Hopefully everything should be running all hunky dory, and uh, we can continue with our pirate ship and uh, and sail the seven seas. So until the next episode, please do hit the like if you're enjoying the series, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out maybe some of the other uh, playthroughs I've done, uh, as well as some of the other random content I've got thrown up on my on my channel. And uh, maybe you find something you like. Who knows? And as always, if you have suggestions of things you'd like me to play. Uh, drop them there and I'll look into them. So until next episode I bid you a great week and speak to you soon. Bye bye!